The way that we tell minerals apart is very similar to the way that we tell people in this room apart from each other is how they look, the properties that each individual has. And in this case, we're talking about minerals. So uh, as you go through this, you're gonna wanna make sure that uh, you get a good definition and have a good understanding of each of these mineral properties because that's what you'll be using to identify minerals uh, in class. The first is mineral luster. Um, and essentially this is how light is reflected by the mineral. There are two types of mineral luster. There is a metallic mineral luster. Metallic mineral luster is shown in these uh, three examples here at the top. These are essentially ones that look like metal. So they're silver, they're gold, they're bronze, um, and they're, you can't see through them. So those are um, important characteristics of metallic minerals. Now, a non-metallic mineral is not going to look like a metal, okay? It's going to be uh, white, it's going to be pink, um, it might be a brown, something like that. And they might be clear, uh, you could see through them, uh, but those are non-metallic lusters. Um, and, and those are, that's the first property you should identify with any mineral that you are dealing with. The second one that you'll test is hardness. There's a variety of things that you can use to test hardness. Um, and the hardnesses of those objects are listed here. Uh, the hardness of a fingernail is 2.5. The hardness of a piece of glass is 5.5. And the hardness of steel is 6.5. So in this case that you see right here, we can see that this mineral is scratching this piece of glass. And therefore, we would write the hardness of that mineral as greater than 5.5. That's how you would write the hardness of a mineral. Um, <coughs> if it can scratch it, it's harder than it. Next up is the breakage pattern. It doesn't mean I want you to break the mineral samples when you're looking at them. That's how they got to the size that they are. They're already broken. There's two types of breakage pattern. The first type is called cleavage. And I know it's a funny word, but it's th if you think of a meat cleaver cutting things, then you get different types of cleavage. Um, we have them listed here. You can see one. And essentially, in all cases on cleavage here, what you see is that they have a flat side. And what you can't see in this case is that if we tilted these minerals, they would shine. So those are the factors that make a mineral have cleavage as its breakage pattern. Um, fracture is different. Fracture is like this one right here. Uh, fracture looks like you took a handful of cake or something. There's not flat sides. It won't shine when you tilt it. Um, and, and that constitutes fracture. Next up are two things, color. Color is a difficult one to use when trying to identify minerals because uh, some minerals can be multiple colors, uh, like fluorite, for example, can be blue or green or clear or purple, and so that's tough. But um, we can also test streak. Streak, you can see uh, in this picture here, streak is just taking a mineral, rubbing on a piece of porcelain, and seeing what color is left behind, the ground-up uh, mineral material. Uh, and that is a mineral streak. The next one is its crystal structure. Crystal structure you have to understand you won't be able to see in all minerals. If they have nice, pronounced, and well-developed crystals, you will be able to see things um, <coughs> like this here. You might see a cubic structure. Uh, you might see a six-sided uh, tetragonal or hexagonal structure. Uh, or you might see monoclinic, which basically means that you're going to end up with these flat sheets of minerals uh, they'll break off in these flat pieces in layers, and that's a monoclinic structure. Some you'll be able to see, and some you will not. The last one is special properties. Now understand they're called special because not every mineral has them. They might have double refraction, which means that you can um, see through the mineral and it doubles text underneath it. They might be magnetic. Um, and this one is a fluorescent mineral, which means that uh, when we put it under UV light, it causes uh, atoms in it to glow and give off these really funky colors, which you see. So those are some examples of special properties. But again, not every mineral has a special property. 